Hi, and welcome to my first, uh, inventory video! <laughs> I'm Lil Bots Maru on Depop, and I own Japan Archives, and I got a pretty big shipment in today, well, it's two shipments, and I've been thinking <laughs> a lot about making a YouTube channel, because I'm sure people want to see all this amazing Japan goodies that I get in, and see stuff pre-drop, so... I'm doing it today, and we're doing it, and thank you for joining me. First, let's like peep the outfit. Hi, this is not my natural hair. My natural hair is just not happening right now, so I'm wearing a black wig. This is my um, L from Death Note cosplay wig. Kind of funky bangs, <laughs> but yeah, hi. And then I got my vintage trip pants kind of a flex sorry and then I found this shirt say more what is it I don't even know honestly I thrifted this it's pretty sick it's oversized I think it's a men's shirt and then my sleeves I girl both sleeves one of them is down one of them is up so edgy and then I have I didn't do a stack I just did this necklace that I've been obsessed with lately it's actually gold too it doesn't really match but it's just these really cute little wings little angel moment. Hi. Yeah. So, quick little mirror shot of the outfit. Pink and black is the best. Love it. I got my little slippers on. Because we're chilling. But yeah. Good stuff. Okay. Let's begin. <laughs> okay, let's start off with... Let me see... I already took everything, mostly everything, out of its packaging, except for a few things. So, just to like double check, I got everything. Okay, yeah, this is a good starting off point. I love Algon Algonquins. They're like a... I don't know if they still make stuff. I think they might still make stuff, but they're pretty expensive if you buy them right now. But they're early 2000s stuff. <sighs> it's so freaking good. It's so good. I always have at least a few pieces from them. So the brand is Algonquins. And here's the, oh my god, it's so sick. Here's the shirt. It's like this crazy mummy bunny. And then it's got the little Algonquins right there. And then, I don't know if I'm saying that right, by the way. Here's the back. Oh my god, yes, this is why I got this. <laughs> so good. So it's like a little, like all the, the mummy thread kind of things. The bandages came off. And look at what he's doing. He's like turning around, give, like giving the finger so good i love this and it's so bright too this would be this would be really cool with like i don't know like a long fishnet top and then i don't know if there's any like yellow trip pieces but or if somebody had like some kind of whoops yellow and black plaid skirt like this is for you this is your moment okay next we got another one i believe this is algonquins this is another Algonquins, and I believe it's from the other early 2000s as well. So this one is that same, just about the same bright yellow color, and this one is freaking amazing, okay? At first glance, it's like, yeah, that's a lot going on, but like, dude, there's cats all over it, and it says the F word all over <laughs> Like, yes, it's so good. Okay, here it is. There's bunnies and cats. So cute. And you can see like rock on and then just the F word. <laughs> so it's all Gonquins in there. And that's the front. So sick. And then the back has this cute little detail. It's like a little buckle neck kind of thing. So cute. So cute. So cute. So cute. So cute. Love, love, love. I love this brand so much. Like they make the best like alternative punk stuff that's like super relevant right now. So good um next let's go to like a more e-girl piece y'all if this fits me i'm not getting rid of it i'm sorry you'll probably like i want to make a ton of videos like this like every time i get a shipment in and seriously if some of this stuff like it is hard to not keep i don't know how to not keep it this is one of those pieces if it fits me if it doesn't fit me you got it go for it but if it fits me mm. so here we have the cinema row trio skirt plaid pink and black or pink and blue super cute skirt look at that oh my god this is an actual piece of clothing in the world <laughs> like yes i don't know if it'll fit me actually it might be oh well, it might fit me it might be perfect we'll see i don't know but if it doesn't fit me perfect then i get rid of it because i got too many clothes man 
from just like keeping stuff. So literally, this is literally a Sanrio piece. Oh, so good, so good, so good, so good, so good. Like, how do you how do you get that? How do, how how is this real? It's just pink and blue, but everybody loves plaid. Everybody loves a good plaid skirt and a little pop of cinema. Yes, thank you. Yes, perfect. While we're talking about Sanrio, I've had my eyes on this for a while. I didn't know if I wanted to bring it in, but I finally brought it in, and it's so cute. So this is, so Vivitex is the name of the brand that did a bunch of stuff, a bunch of Sanrio collabs, early 2000s, late 90s, I believe. I can't remember exactly when, but it's definitely vintage, and it is so good. It's Hello Kitty. Okay, I'll need to iron it. But it's Hello Kitty, beachy kind of themed with butterflies and like an ombre. How freaking gorgeous is this? Like, that is so cute, man. Look at her. Look at her doing a little hula. And the best part is this ombre on the back too. And the, like the the same um, flower and palm tree graphic goes around to the back. Like, this is such a vibe. Like, go on vacation just to wear this. <laughs> so cute. So cute. Unless you live in like Hawaii or something, this is perfect for you. But love, 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 love. Here's another skirt. Another cute little moment. We have the colors not not really showing up as well as it is in person, but it's more blue than whatever this is doing. It looks kind of neon, but it's not that color in real life. It's more of like a blue, like a dark gray blue. But it's super cute, layered velvet, crushed velvet skirt just adorable just adorable who is this by again oh this is a good one this is by i don't know how to say the name but i have a skirt from them oz crack <laughs> cross oz cross it might be it might that sounds kind of cool it might be oz cross i don't know i'll put the name on the screen but here it is it's just so, so beautiful. They have so many really nice layered skirts, so that is just so beautiful. Look at it. And it's just the same on the back, but I don't know if you can really see. There's like this lace kind of detailing right there. Next, we're going to switch to a more like feminine kind of alt piece. This one is by Axis Femme. I always have a lot of their dresses in stock so beautiful look at that so nice and it's got like a floral butterfly blue and black and purple colorway and pattern with little lacy bits at the top just so like detailed their dresses are just gorgeous and then it's got a little tie too so you tie it in the back <laughs> and then it's also got the shirring which everybody loves so there's that one, and then I have another one too, this red one. So cute. Like how gorgeous is that? Uh, it's like a more burgundy color in real life, I don't know if the camera is picking up on it, but look at like the bottom too, with all the lace details, oh my god. You could even just like, oh my god, you could like layer these, okay you could make them alt. If you layer them over a t-shirt like that, that's like dang cute, dude. So cute. But this one has like little velvety. Yeah. Okay. This is another good one. This brand's kind of popping off. So it's Mint Nico. And it's this kitty. And that's him. And he's playing guitar. This is like a guy's kind of fit tee. But like the tee I'm wearing right now is a, is a dude's shirt too i think it's like a large or something that i'm wearing so like totally a girl could wear this too or a guy like if your bae wants to wear this go for it i only got one of them though and this stuff is kind of hard to find so so cool this i kind of got for myself so i hope it fits me but if it doesn't then i'll sell it it's just like a soft sweet moment <laughs> i don't know i went on this like strawberry kick <laughs> And it's got strawberries all over it, and it says Lolita. I don't know, it's just really cute. It's really precious. I love it. It's way bright on the camera, but it's actually a light pink. But it's so cute. I hope it's just, like, a little bit bigger. I like all of my, like, tops and jackets to fit 
a little too big. Super sweet. Oh, the brand. Um, okay, the brand is gonna be... Oh, the brand is Swimmer. <clears throat> I love Swimmer so much. So Swimmer is like this 80s inspired brand. Okay, this is obviously not 80s, but they have like soft pastel... This pastel Kaya thing, probably. Like Lolita vintage 80s... Um, what is that called? I can't remember what it's called. There's like a certain certain subculture of fashion and I don't remember what it's called and I'm gonna remember it and I'm gonna be so sad when I'm editing this but I'll put it on the screen that's what kind of clothing they have it's like a uh, spank if you've seen them so swimmer actually went out of business a couple years ago I don't know if it was because of the virus or if it was just because Harajuku is like struggling because people okay if you go to Harajuku buy stuff if you go like on the strip buy stuff from these places even though it's more expensive if you're going out there just buy something okay because their problem is like tourists keep going there just to look at stuff and then they don't buy anything and it scares off the people who actually live in the area who would go buy stuff <sighs> so they struggle and so actually buy something so swimmer went out of business but i don't know like who if somebody bought them or what but they're back thank god thank god by the time i'm going there I'm gonna be able to actually go to swimmer but this is from that brand so cute so cute so cute okay then we have this fantastic kids brand it's called grand ground and they make these like earthy like pixie like cottage girl i don't know what you can call that kind of clothing and i got this um tank top to list and it's got primary well not the primary colors because of green but it's got like kind of like toy kiddish colors and just the most darling little fawn embroidery with flowers right there so cute so cute so cute and there's the back oh and the back has like a little little toy ducky so cute oh my god great here's another alt piece that i got this is from algonquins because I guess I'm just like a hoe for them. <laughs> I didn't realize I had this much stuff from them, but here we go. Had to put this in the shop too. It's very cool. So it's like a zip up jacket that kind of has the same vibe as the yellow shirt. So you've got a little bunny, skeleton bunny, playing guitar, and all of his bandages went down. It says Algonquins. I don't know if this was like a whole line they did, or if it was based off of something, but. This is definitely, probably came out with the other one. And then the back has him very big. It is so sick, dude. It's so sick. But it's like a track jacket. Like, how are you going to find alt, like, like, jackets and stuff? Like a, like a track, like something you can work out in. <laughs> that stuff is so hard to find. So this is super, super cool. And there it is. There it is nice okay this is this is one of those things like if it fits me i gotta keep it i'm sorry but super rare chromey my melody baby tank top and it's dated 2008 on the front oh my god it's so sweet look at how precious look they have like little flowers so sweet little flower flower party love next i'm like honestly like i always want to keep stuff but i really got to sell some stuff too so this is a uh, hysteric glamour vintage bandana kind of headband thing stretchy and it says it right here i don't know if that's like flipped on the screen but so cool that's a great moment love it love it all just love it all this is like this is so sick too my job is hard because i want to keep everything man so we have an authentic 2004 y2k playboy bunny compact mirror how cool is that wait you can like <laughs> wait you can peep my hello kitties <laughs> Hello, <laughs> but yeah it's really nice and um it's got like the holographic 
front. And it's super big. This is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. That's really cool. Dude, that's like... That's awesome. It's like as big as my head. Okay, this is freaking insane. This is what, like one of the main reasons why I was like, I have to make a video. I just have to, because the world needs to see this before I break it apart. <laughs> so I was searching around for old Hello Kitty stuff, and I found this old Hello Kitty display for hairpins that are, um, is it a, not astrology, that are zodiac. Are you ready for this? Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. So they're all from 2001. And it's marked at the top. And you got the classic bay right there. Hello Kitty. Uh, like a little angel fairy. And then it has all of the different zodiac ones. So I'm Cancer, so I'll be keeping one of mine. But there's two of each, I believe. Yeah, there's two of each, so... Are these not insane? And they even have like little rhinestones too. So cute. Here, I'll just go through all of them. How cool is that? Like, this makes me want to like travel to conventions so bad just to like see the aesthetic of putting all of my stuff up in one place. <laughs> like all of my inventory. Like can you imagine this hanging at a convention? Like so sick dude. It's so sick. That's like a once in a lifetime find honestly. I don't know if I'll ever get those in again because I could not find any more. These are packaged super super nicely so I'm not gonna fully take them off the packaging. But this is Hello Kitty um, Zodiac as well. I got a lot of Zodiac stuff in this time. So these are keychains from 2009. And they're super sturdy metal. Here they are. They got Bay. Look at Bay. I love the little lion. Leo, I think. Yeah, Leo. Look at how cute. Ah! So I don't think I have all of them, but I have a lot of them. But once again, yeah, Cancer's mine, sorry. If there's anything that's like <laughs> Zodiac and it's Cancer, it's mine. But if I ever have like duplicates, then another Cancer babe can grab. But I'm greedy. <laughs> okay, just because we're still on this um, Hello Kitty Zodiac kind of kick right now, you gotta see the rest of these. You gotta see them. So I got a bunch of Hello Kitty Zodiac plushies in that are dead stock from 2000. Mm. Year 2000. Mm, that's so sick. That's freaking awesome. Wow, I didn't know they were actually 2000. So I'm just gonna show them one at a time. And they're about the size of your hand. And they do all have the nice little tag and they're still in the bag so this one it looks like it has dirt on it but the dirt's on the bag they're dead stock Let's see move the dirt Let's see so cute but i think i got every single one of them so i'll have all of them available so if you're a hello kitty collector or you just want like to add to your e-girl plushie collection stack these are so freaking cute. Oh my god. This one has like the scorpion tail. <laughs> so cute. And then this one is mine, and I took it out and I screamed all alone here in my apartment. Look, it's so cute. She's like, hey, but then look at the back. <laughs> look at that. She's so freaking cute. Oh my god. 
can you imagine can you imagine going back in time and just seeing all these like on display wow this is so happy i might just stay like this forever <laughs> Um, I got another Axis Swim dress that I forgot to show, so I'll go ahead and show that. This is just beautiful. I have a blue version of this, the exact same print. It's like a little castle. Little woodland castle, cottage core kind of meets pastel goth. This is a good pastel goth piece, actually. So beautiful. And it's like a light lavender. Layer bowl, or you can wear it by yourself. I wear these by by themselves all the time. These I haven't opened yet, but it seems like people really love Usahana. So I got a bunch of baby tees in um, a couple weeks ago. But I was able to find some Usahana. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, the Sanrio character keychains. And I guess I might put the, I might like include a necklace chain for these. Because they could totally go on necklaces. There's one, and here's the other. And these are from 2003. Very, very good. Okay, the last couple things that I have are some, like, cute decoration stuff. So these are, um, vintage 97 Hello Kitty, like, tiny tea sets. If you have, like, dolls or... Um, you want to put them on display. So cute. And I have a few different sets of these. They are 98, 1998 vintage. The same kind of stuff, like tiny pottery. I don't know if they're ceramic or what, but they're very heavy. So they're nicely made. And here's a little mug. I have pull-up dolls that I want to put on display. And these would be like perfect size. Actually, I'm gonna go get one of them so I can show. So here's one of my pull-up dolls. I put her in the little twin stars um, Barbie dress that you could get like a like a year ago ish. But here she is, beautiful. And here's like a mug for comparison for anybody else that collects like japanese dolls it's like honestly this is like the perfect size so i might have to keep a couple of these but there's like there's so many there's just tons here and there's duplicates too i'll just let you peek i'm too lazy to get them all out but like look at all that and even the little ceramic one is super cute too that would look good on like in a curio cabinet or like on display Mhm. Mm we love hello kitty we love her we love sanrio especially vintage. Here's some more. This is this one I got because I wanted to keep one for sure. These are ham taro. When we work together, it's much better. My ham ham. Okay, so it's a ham taro. Um, you know what? I'm just going to take one out because I'm going to keep one anyway. <laughs> So these are, it doesn't say date, but obviously it's vintage, because Hamtaro didn't make stuff in, like after 2003-ish. I don't think, I think they just, they were done. <laughs> Rest in peace, Hamtaro, <laughs> bring it back. But these are little teapots, and they have a little Hamtaro, and I have a couple of them. I'll have a couple of them for sale. And they have little lids too, I just didn't get it out. So precious. I love my job. I don't even know what these are. Uh, I know that these are some more like plates and ceramic, but I don't know what they look like or what they- Oh yeah, these are Pokemon ones. So I have some of these already. I actually bought them from another girl on Depop and ever since I had been like searching for them because I'm like, I need to get the whole- I need to catch them all, get the whole collection. But I have a lot of duplicates here, and I knew, like, people will love these because they're so cute. They're so cute. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> okay, so here's, like, a little tray. And these are ceramic. They're, like, hard. And here's this one, and it's Mew. They're so precious. They're just so precious. I won't get all of them out, but I'll get a couple more out. Oh, this one says 1999. So they're all like 90s, 2000. Well, Pikachu. 
Little Togepi. Precious. Okay, that's gonna about wrap everything up. That's gonna be the drop that will drop tomorrow and the next day. And if you like this kind of stuff, if you want to see more, I'm going to keep making videos probably every single drop. And if you like J fashion or just seeing cute stuff or you want to know what's going to um, drop next on my Depop, please give me a subscribe and um, leave a comment down below if there's anything else you want to see. I honestly will probably just turn this channel into like a fashion channel, <laughs> like e-girl fashion, alt fashion, because I have like... I've been wanting to do this for so long and my closet is so thick and I think it's time and I just needed to like do the final push but I'm here now so give me a thumbs up. I don't know if it helps anything but I would appreciate it and I will see you next drop. Bye!